Hey, Nicole here with Own Your Mama Co. I'm sharing a very, very quick tutorial today for Canva. Um, actually, someone submitted this question, wanted me to do a quick tutorial, so I figured might as well record it and share it with you all too. So um, today I'm gonna show you how I get custom sizing template. That's probably like a little bit more different than the typical. Um, this is gonna be a four by six in um, portrait mode with a big square and then two small squares. So I'm gonna show you how exactly I size it, how I do the settings in Canva so that you can do that too. Enjoy. First off, we need to start by creating our new design with our custom sizing. So we're gonna do 1200 by 1800 pixels. That's gonna be our four by six sizing. So there we have it, we have that ready to go. So now we need to get our sizing for our individual photo boxes. So we're gonna go into the Salsa app, into marketing materials, and then we're gonna go into our photo templates section. And then you're gonna see a blank templates section. Click on that, click on JPG, JPEGs, And then we're just gonna click on our first section until we find the one that we're looking for. So not it, not it, not it. There it is, that's the one we want. It has that big large square and then the two small squares beneath it. So I wanna zoom in a little bit to get those exact dimensions and I'm gonna go back over into Canva. So now that I know what dimensions I need for my first square, I'm just gonna insert a square, can be any size. This is just for reference and just to kind of place where the photos are gonna be. Um, pick whatever color you want. And now we're just gonna be paying attention to our sizing. So that first sizing was 1080. So let's get it all the way over to 1080. And sometimes you're gonna have to zoom in to get it perfect. Got it. And now we have to make the depth the same size that we were looking at. Perfect. So now we have that big first block. And now we need to get the sizing for our small box. I'm gonna go back over to double check the dimensions of those smaller boxes. Hop back over to Canva, get another square in there. I like them to be the same color, so I went and changed that. And I'm gonna line them up so they're on the same line, and then I'm just gonna change the dimensions. Don't forget to zoom in so you can get more accurate precision. Gonna just duplicate that since we want the same size and looks pretty good to me. I'll go into, let's go back into our first section. Uh, let's go back into the Salsa app and see if we got it right. The dimensions look correct. Looks pretty similar to me, so we are good to go. Now we will move forward with designing our photo template. Whenever we are done designing and we know where our photos are gonna be, we'll delete these black boxes before we download and then upload into the Salsa app. I hope that was helpful for you. And um, if you have any other questions or need any additional help, uh, put your comments down below and I will see you guys on the next video.